This is TK Coleman. Welcome to an episode of TK's Two Cents. Today, we're going to talk about empathy and generosity. Let's dive right in with the first tweet. Teach your children to be empathetic towards the suffering of others. Teach your children to prepare for a world that won't always show them the empathy they desire. Both of these lessons are essential. A very important component of mentorship, parenting, coaching, and education is not only teaching people about the importance of character, virtue, and integrity, but it's also teaching people how to navigate a world that will often have no regard for the character, virtue, and integrity that they invest in. You must tell your children you are beautiful, but you must also inform them about a world in which some people will see them as ugly. You must tell your children, I believe you have immense potential, but you must also inform them about a world where most people won't care about the beliefs you have in their potential. You must tell your children to do right by others, but you must inform them about the reality of a world in which other people might not do right by them. And the purpose of it isn't to make them cynical. It isn't to make them afraid, but it is to help them understand that integrity is that which is capable of asserting itself even in the face of opposition and contrast. That virtue is that which must be lived out in a world that often disagrees with your definition of virtue. We do not live in a world where everyone has the same idea of good. We do not live in a world where everyone plays by the same rules. And in order to think good thoughts, speak good words, and do good deeds, we must not be naive about the fact that good is often disagreed with, often protested, and often challenged. Accept that, embrace that, learn how to live with that. This is what we must teach the next generation. Let's go to tweet number two. Generosity isn't about how much you have. It's about how much you're committed to doing what you do in a service-oriented and purpose-driven way. I want you to think about generosity not in terms of quantity, but in terms of direction. Generosity isn't about how much you possess. It's about the direction in which you distribute your talents and your gifts. It's about including other people and looking for opportunities to do whatever it is you do with your stuff in a way that is a blessing to other people. No matter how much money you have, no matter how many things you possess, you're going to do something with it. You're going to do something with it. And whatever it is you do, you can do it in a way that makes other people feel seen and heard. The great myth about generosity is that we must have more things than we currently have in order to begin being generous. The truth about generosity is that you can start being more generous now by saying, I'm going to continue living my life and doing the things I need to do with my stuff, but I'm going to do it in a way that's mindful of other people. When you go to the grocery store and you pay with the little money that you have for the groceries, you can be generous by asking that cashier how they are doing today. You can be generous by looking at the person who is bagging your groceries and making eye contact and telling them, thank you for the job they are doing. You can be generous in so many ways, but generosity is really about the mindset. It's really about being the kind of person who says, I'm going to live my life today and I'm going to take care of all the things I need to take care of. I'm going to be honest about my limitations, but as I go about my day doing whatever it is I do, I'm going to try to do it in a way that is mindful of the other people around me and the need that they have to be encouraged and to be validated because life isn't just about protecting what I have and using what I have and investing what I have. Life is about doing all of those things with a consciousness of the dignity and value of the people that I have to interact with along the way. That's what generosity is all about. Anybody can embody a generous attitude today. Don't wait. Don't wait until you get more time. Don't wait until you get more energy. Don't wait until you get more space. Don't wait until you get more stuff. This is how you get more by looking for opportunities to give more where you are right here and right now. That is TK's Two Cents. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate everybody who takes the time 
to share the materials, to comment, to ask questions. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about in the future, any added insights you'd like to share with me, please go to the comment section and let me know. Please hit the like and the subscribe button in order to stay up to date on the latest happenings in Rev1. And if you feel like there's a family member or a friend that might benefit from hearing these thoughts, feel free to share it with them. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Live an empathetic and generous life. Peace out.